Dears, welcome to Science Online Class, Class Five. Subject: Science. Topic: Science in Everyday Life. Unit Four. Term One. Dear Cuties, in the last class we learned about changes around us. Now I am going to ask some questions about that topic. Are you ready to say the answers to me? Okay. How many changes around us, and what are they? Yes, two types of changes around us. One is reversible changes, and another one irreversible changes. Very good. See any an example of reversible changes? Yes, water to ice due to cooling ice to water due to heating very good okay dears now we are going to learn about waste generated in our environment are you ready to learn okay good waste is any substance which is discarded after primary use it is worthless defective and of no use they are unwanted and undesirable materials yes now we are going to learn two types of wastes one household waste and then waste from school first one household waste waste from home is known as household waste solid waste disposed from home and apartments comprise of garbage and rubbish bottles cans clothing compost disposable items food packets newspapers magazines and trimmings okay now i am going to ask questions about the topic what is household waste yes waste from home is known as household waste very good how many types of household waste yes five types very good now we are going to learn about waste from school you leave many waste materials inside your classrooms and throw away many things in the school campus if they are not collected and disposed properly your environment will be polluted yes papers pen and its parts blades chocolate covers and plastic items are found in the school environment the single most common material generated in schools is food waste food is not only wasted but it is also thrown away everywhere making your surrounding clean in your survey conducted it is found that food waste accounts for 23 Point nine percentage of the total waste generated in the school and recycled paper like cardboard, white paper, and mixed papers account for twenty three point five percentage of the total waste. To keep our surrounding clean, we need to have a proper waste disposal system. Okay, then tell me what are the waste things found in the school environment? Yes. papers pen and its parts blades chocolate covers and plastic items are found in the school environment good next we will learn about need for proper disposal of waste with so much of waste lying everywhere what do you think that we should do is we urgently need a proper waste management system 
Waste management is needed for the following reasons. To control pollution. Yes. Various pollution like water pollution, air pollution and soil pollution can be avoided. Next. To conserve natural resources. Waste disposal is important for the conservation of our environment resources like forest, minerals and water. Then to control spread of diseases. Spread of infections, diseases can be controlled. Okay, recycle for further use. Waste can be recycled to get product for further use. Okay, now I am going to ask questions. Are you ready? Say any two disposal of waste. One, waste can be recycled to get product for further use. Spread of infection, diseases can be controlled. Next, we are going to learn about ways to reduce waste. The best place to start different in our home. We need to learn how to reduce, reuse and recycle waste. The following practices will be helpful to reduce waste in our home and school environment. Yes? Okay. Use reusable and recyclable bags and containers. Avoid one-time use items and use items which can be used permanently. Segregate waste into biodegradable and non-biodegradable items and hand over them to the municipal and corporation people who collect them. Do not throw away waste everywhere. Put them in dustbins and dispose them properly. Don't waste food. Waste food in schools can be controlled. And used it to feed cattle. Organic waste can be converted into manuals. Okay, dears, explain three R's. Yes, reuse, reduce, and recycle. Good. Now, assignment. What are the different types of waste? And explain about proper disposal of waste. Okay, Kutis. Thank you. Thank you very much.